Hey, I'm Tatiana, welcome to my channel. Well, I was watching a movie once and I think it was Ben Stiller. They had to take on and off the pillows every day. That annoys me so much. And plus those pillows get rarely washed, if ever. And so I just don't really like having that many pillows. Really all of the pillows I need is like one for my leg and then one for under my neck. This is an aesthetically pleasing, clean lines, minimal bed, which means there's no fluff, no extra stuff. It's just pure bed making to its finest, in my opinion. My mattress is a Sattva organic mattress. Underneath all of your layering here, you're going to protect your mattress with a mattress cover and a bed bug cover. Bed bugs get on your skin, they bite your skin, they suck your blood, it's really gross. And then the bugs go into the mattress and leave little red droppings. And that's when you have to basically throw away your mattress. You have to heat up everything that you have, like I'm boiling water so that you can get rid of the bed bugs. So to prevent any of that from happening, make sure you have a bed bug encasement. And this is completely covered with this zipper, so there's no way those things could get in here. But it's not that pleasant to sleep on because it feels crunchy. This is kind of a plasticky type of material. So I use this organic mattress protector to get rid of any of that sound of crunchiness and also the feel is nice and smooth, just like you're on a regular cotton mattress bed. The two pillows right here, they're made out of flax, cotton, and they are linen, which is, kind of has a different feel. It's a little more tough to the touch. And then I use the softer pillow, which is an organic cotton, and I'll send you the link in the description box, but it's by a company called BioWeave and their sheets are so silky. And then this one is 100% cotton blanket. I like white because I can pull stains out with borax or bleach, but you can use any color that you like. Okay, so with the fitted sheet, you wanna put the fitted sheet on the mattress really tightly. And you can look for the little tag around the fitted sheet that either says side, top, or bottom, so that you can correctly put it onto the mattress. You want to do that because you don't want one side longer than the other. It's going to give you a funky wrinkle and it's not going to look good once you place everything on top. This is a pretty thick mattress. So whatever sheets you're buying, make sure that you're buying one that has a deep enough pocket. This is called a pocket and it will go underneath the mattress. So it'll give you that nice finished look. Okay, now that you have the fitted sheet on, go ahead and tuck the sides in really well. What this is going to do is give you a really nice tight look so that there's no wrinkles or bubbles that come up over the top sheet. Looks nice and flat. The top sheet, you want the design to be, mine's a white sheet, both sides are the same, so it doesn't matter but um, basically you want this part to flip over and you can see the design. So you're really doing it upside down. Go ahead and fold it in half on the top. So the center here, where you're folding the sheets, is going to go on the top center of the bed. When that's there, I can just lightly unfold the top part of this sheet over. So I'm going to go like this, but I'm not going to move that measurement. Make sure this side is completely even and able to go under the bed. And then just start adjusting where you need to. You start from the top up here and using your arm to flatten out. Now we have these ends. I'm just going to do a quick hospital corner right here just to secure this in place. Okay, now to do a quick hospital corner, pull enough fabric so that when you fold it over, 
it's going to have a nice clean line down. Some people don't like to tuck in their bed. I think it makes it look so much better. It just gives that elevated look. I'm going to be adding the blanket. So the blanket, I like using the soft, silky side on top. I like this plush, nice, comfortable, soft blanket. Super easy to wash. I wash them every time a guest stays. You can start from the top and cover it. You can also do that trick with the half and half to get the same size on both sides. Pull it, make sure that it's covering both sides. Then you can kind of brush it down to the bottom. Now the bottom has to tuck under. This is very important. So if the bottom doesn't tuck under, just take more off the top. So this looks a little short to me, so I'm actually going to pull and pull, try and pull evenly on all sides. So this side looks like it needs a little bit more, more slack here. Okay, this looks really good to me. Now I'm going to pull the top back, pull the top back of the blanket. And then I take the other side of the sheet here and I'm gonna fold it over. So I'm gonna fold it over. Push all the fabric down so you have a nice tight look. Now you're just gonna fold under, nice and tight. Fold under. Just always constantly putting that fabric down so it could go under. Okay, this is the hospital corner. I'm gonna take the fabric, make that side right there. So I can do it that way, or I can do it this way too. So whatever way you feel like doing, you can do it on both sides so it looks a little bit more finished and complete. Okay, now you're on this side, so you're gonna fold under. All right, so I could start here, but I actually like to start from the top and go down. Make sure it's nice and flat at the top. Push down and then push under. Okay, looks like I was tucking it on the outside that way over there. So I'm gonna use this much fabric here, make a nice, smooth line and tuck it under. So this is my hospital corner here. And I'm going to pull underneath just to make sure that it's nice and tight. There's no fabric hanging down. Okay, to put the pillowcase on top of the pillow, first what you want to do is find the corner of the pillowcase. So here's one corner and here's the other corner. You're going to meet these corners with those corners. So start with one corner first, and then do the second half, about halfway through the pillow, okay? And then you can tug so that they fall to the bottom. Then you're gonna put your arm through here, grab a corner, and meet it to that fur furthest corner and meet it on the other side. And you might need to tug the fabric so that it meets both sides here. And then you're gonna do one more tug and you can put it right on the head of the bed, just right there. Now you're going to grab your decor pillows up top, just like that. There's a thing called wabi-sabi. It's Japanese and it's the concept of having things in your home that aren't perfect. This is adding character to your space. This linen is really wrinkly looking, but this is the wabi-sabi look. I like placing them like this versus 
like this. I have the organic blanket. It's a little heavy, which is nice because when it gets cold, you kind of want something a little heavy. So this is nice to place at the end of the bed. Also, some people open up their suitcases on the bed. So that's why most hotels, they leave some sort of fabric at the end of the bed. This one is also a functional fabric and it's washable. There you go. There's the most flawless, smoothest, beautiful white bed. It is so comfortable. Ah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks and we'll see you next time. Bye.